Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Doing another grocery haul video today. You guys seemed to really like that last time. So let's get started. Today I bought two packs of chicken thighs. I love using chicken thighs. It's my favorite um, cut of chicken to use because it stays so juicy. We're gonna be using this for two things this week. We're gonna be making Peruvian chicken um, which is basically like a spiced grilled chicken uh, with a green sauce on top of it. And then I'm going to do something really fun that I've never tried before. I'm going to put a few of these in my food processor, um, basically make ground chicken out of them, and make sticky ginger uh, chicken meatballs. So I'm really excited for that. Eggs, because it's a staple in our house. Um, blackberries that this week I am going to be using for a... French toast, um, basically casserole with blackberries in that. So that should be really fun. Cat food because, you know, cats. <laughs> Nathan's favorite creamer here, this Snickers creamer, it is his favorite. And then milk because we drink a lot of milk and I use a lot of milk in my baking. Plain yogurt. Um, I love the Fairlife brand. It's actually my favorite. And it's also lactose free, which is really nice. Um, just kind of a side benefit. We don't avoid lactose on purpose, but it's really nice and thick like a Greek yogurt. And I just really like the flavor of it and I love to keep plain around because I can make it sweet or I can use it as a sour cream substitute for things like my ranch dressing and just all kinds of things. I love to have it around. These little croissants are for the blackberry croissant French toast and then this coconut cream. I'm going to be making some coconut cupcakes so that is what that is for some honey crisp apples and then these mango chunks and freeze-dried mangoes are going to be used in the frosting for the coconut cupcakes so it's going to be a coconut cupcake with a mango buttercream on top so I'm really excited for that and if you're making any kind of fruit frosting using freeze-dried of whatever that fruit is is a great way to get flavor and color in there naturally I also have a cucumber because this week we are going to be using some canned chicken that I have in stock and making um, buffalo chicken wraps for our lunches. Garlic because I always need garlic. Green onions, cilantro, and jalapenos to make that green sauce that I talked about for the Peruvian chicken. That is also what our limes are going to be for. Some of these liquid aminos, which I've talked about before, it's basically like a soy sauce, but healthier for you. And also some turbinado sugar, which I'm gonna be using to top off some baked goods because I ran out recently. And then there's this little guy, which was actually kind of cool. I ordered my groceries from Meyer this week and um, what they didn't have I went and picked up at Whole Foods but I ordered them from Meyer and I got home and I had this so I thought I would check it out with you guys looks like there's little smart sweets peach rings in here some chili seasoning that looks fun a little trail mix and antioxidant sparkling water boosts energy and restores balance with natural caffeine interesting and little dishwasher tabs can absolutely use those so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave me a like and if you have any questions about what i'm making this week leave me a comment and let me know thanks guys bye bye